Red evening. It's better than work. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a member. Let's begin. Do you think um, this whole political sphere that we find ourselves in ever since um, uh, the big Don got in, um, that in, in the sphere as well now people are starting to form their own little cliques like they are in the sort of the political sphere? Because oh, Absolutely. I, I, absolutely. <clears throat> It's one of the things I've noticed, and, and others have pointed it out. I know Rolo's pointed it out in the past. A couple other guys have pointed it out here and there, too. It's it's all about kind of the... the it's taking somebody like Rolo's work and repackaging it, putting a, a shiny new veneer on it, but it's not even their ideas. It's Rolo's work in a lot of cases, or it's Pook, or it's somebody else. And people are just kind of ripping them off and putting a new shiny cover on it and throwing a new buzzword in and then saying, hey, look what I found. I, I found the magic bullet because that's what most, most people don't want to do the work. They, they don't want to know that, hey, if you're a schlub and your life is all fucked up, it's probably going to take you a couple of years of steady, continuous work to, to turn everything around. Now, that's, that's, that's hard. And so I want the magic bullet. I want the ten secrets to, to getting any woman I ever desired, ever. And it doesn't matter if I'm a fat piece of shit or not. You know, it, it, it's... I, I've seen it over the years. I, I saw it 20 years ago, even before really the internet took off. It Back then, it was direct mail marketing and uh, classified type ads in the back of girly magazines. All that, it, all that it's done is the, the flim flam, I guess, or the grifters have just moved to the internet and put on a new veneer. And so to find people that actually know the subject, care about the subject, care about you actually doing something with it and benefiting from it, it's, it's pretty rare in my experience. And maybe, maybe I'm just jaded and cynical and bitter now. I don't know. Only but, a little. Only a little. But I, I see way too many guys doing the... They, they went red pill and they, they stayed in there too fucking long because it's not doing the red pills. It's a waypoint. It's, oh, I, this is how I get my life back on track. And then when you do, you get the hell out. You, you get on with your life. You go back to doing, you know, your, your life. But there are guys that have been hanging out for years and not doing anything. It's like, okay, so you've made this a destination. That's not what this is about. And then those guys, a lot of them kind of go black pill, I guess, for a term. Or they get really, you know, angry and really bitter about a lot of things. And it's like, you're still the common denominator in all of this, guys. It's not wham and bad. It's get off your ass and actually do the work. Do something. Figure it out. But... I've just come to the conclusion that most guys, not all, but most guys don't want it. That it's easier to still point the finger and blame women or or blame Trump or blame the, you know, blame Biden, blame anybody but yourself to say why is my life a mess? And it's like, well, if your life and and using the red pill, if we're talking more about your dating life is a mess, whose fault is that? Well, it's, it's your fault. You are the only one that can fix that. But I see way too many people, well, you know, if you just find Jesus, that'll, that'll solve it. Or if it's not finding Jesus, it's wham and bad. And it's like, to me, it's like, you just don't get it. You know, the guys that are saying these things, it's like, you just don't get it. It's, it's on you. You have, to, you have to figure it out. Or it's the guys that, the looks max crowd. Or it's the, the guys that I'm not tall enough crowd. 
And it's like, how many fucking times have I explained that one? You know, it's like, dude, I'm five foot four. I have no problem getting women if I want to go and get women. My height is not an issue. It's only an issue if I make it one. And so it's, it, it, it burned me out. <laughs> so that's my soapbox tirade. Proceed, gentlemen. Yeah, go ahead, Red. No, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. And this is where I come from, and I've had debates about this with people on Twitter, um, and it just doesn't make sense to me. Look, there is that looks maxing sort of sort of sickness that is uh, in the industry, but at the same time, I've always been a proponent that looks do matter. And um, they matter. They do. Yeah, the amount of times I've had people say, no, it's either just game or money or height. And it's like, no, but girls still want to be next to a guy that looks good. It's, it's, that it's not just money and power or whatever. It's also the aesthetic appeal of everything. And girls do take into consideration um, the guy's looks from a genetic perspective because she's like, hey, you know, I might be having a kid with this guy. So what, what are our kids going to look like? So definitely like put in the work and a lot of people that I, um, I'm noticing these days who are, are actually looking for shortcuts they're definitely not looking into um, and it's not even so much lifting weights it's you know skin care it's um, having a proper haircut it's um, keeping your beard trimmed your nails just grooming in general how you present yourself uh, and people are just like nah it's just it's all game it's all game you're wasting your time like why um, you know buy branded like labeled clothes it's like well because there's an aesthetic sense to it Right. And then they're arguing with me saying, no, nah, that doesn't matter. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I would food. say, though, when it comes to clothing, fit over branding. Yes. Yes, 100%. 100%. Uh, but where I was coming from with that is uh, um, I know people that, and in my life, not, not like any red pill or anything, but they, um, they actively look for cheaper clothing. And as a result, I just noticed they just don't look as good. It's just... The clothes are cheaper. It's just cheap, you know. So, uh, and I'm not a proponent to go for the maximum, you know, sixty thousand dollar watches. But it's like, you know, if if you're going to pay for a piece of clothing, pay a little bit more. It's going to have a nice sort of fit to it, and it'll last longer as well. Yes, um, I'm glad you brought that up because that was what I was going to say. It'll last three times as long. Look, subscribe to Jack's channel, you tight asses it's free it's a click of a button and it helps this man who you're watching if you're enjoying this content then subscribe 